So we're going to rescue a casualty out of the crawl here from the same set of ropes. So I've climbed up and I've got to a height now that my back up I could do with moving a little bit higher up. So I'm just going to go up a little more. I'll get my spare back up and I'll put that above the casualty crawl. Remove the original. And I want to climb a little bit higher up, so I'm about level with the casualty's chest, and I want to be in my descender. Okay, so we all need to have two points of contact, the casualty and myself, so I'm going to add some points of contact. So I'm going to use a cow's tail from me onto the casualty's waist. Screw it up. And for the short connection the casualty is going to be hanging off, I'm going to use two carabiners and I'm going to hang the casualty off their chest D-ring because that will keep them in a better, more upright position. So two carabiners chained together from the D-ring on the casualty's chest and the best thing to do with them on your side is go into the carabiner on your descender, so the side that's nearest the casualty. So I've added points on, so I'm now ready to think about taking things off. So I'm going to start with the casualty's backup. And now I need to lift the casualty up and remove the crawl. So there's a few different ways of doing this. Uh, the first method I'm going to show you is with a bit of string. So I'm going to use the casualty's hand ascender as an anchor point, but I'm going to remove the cow's tail. Otherwise, when the casualty drops down, that can become under tension. So, carabiner in here. I'm going to get my thin bit of cord for doing rescue, so just a 5mm bit of cord. And I'm going to clip that into the D-ring on the casualty's chest so it keeps the crawl upright. I'm going to go up through my anchor point and I'm going to wrap it around a second time so I get a little 3 to 1. So this is going to make lifting this 70 kilogram dummy nice and easy. I'm going to put my hand ascender onto the bit of cord and I'll fold my foot loop in half so I get a bit more height. Okay, so I'm going to stay side onto the casualty. I'm going to try and avoid getting tangled with his ropes in between me. I'm going to put a foot in the foot loop. And as I step down, I can open up the crawl and I'm going to lower him down using the bit of cord. Just be aware that your hand ascender doesn't get caught against this carabiner, so I'm going to hold the string, remove the hand ascender, and lower him down onto me, and that keeps him in a nice upright position. I'll remove the casualty's hand ascender, and because it's a two person rescue, add on a friction crab. Double check the backup's not locked, and down we go.